so we are going to see how the French Revolt of 1789 led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. So you must understand that the period 1799 to 1814 was called Napoleonic era. No one was supposed to talk except Napoleon Bonaparte. In other words, Napoleon Bonaparte dominated history in that kind of period. So we needed to understand how the French Revolution led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. So we are like saying that the French revo Revolution abolished the social classes. We are like saying today, at one time in France, people are divided into classes, nobles, clergy, and peasants. But the French Revolt of 1789 led to the end of these classes, where people are supposed to be equal. That's why even when a son of a peasant, Napoleon Bonaparte, when he rose up and he was campaigning for leadership, he was given a chance. Because the revolution of 1789 led to equality, where all of people were made to be what? Equal. So it is this that influenced the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. Because the French could not refuse to accept Napoleon, since by this time, the revolution had created a sense of equality. Another one, it created the shortage of military officers. We are saying today, many military officers died in the process of the French Revolution of 1789. Big names died in the process of the revolution. Among them, Danton, Robespierre. So people looked around and they said, we have only one man in the room. And that man, Napoleon Bonaparte. So in this kind of arrangement, it was the French revolt of 1789 that created the shortage of military officers. As there was the shortage of military officers, Napoleon got a chance to be chosen. Because the officers who could be chosen we are nowhere to be seen by this time. That's why Napoleon was chosen. Another one, it created the reign of terror. Period of constant fear and suffering. I can tell you, but in the reign of terror, you had to kill in order not to be killed. If you saw someone coming, you had to kill that someone before he could kill you. By this time, people lived in constant fear. So Napoleon came at a time when people had so many problems. So he used the reign of terror to campaign for himself because he promised people that there is only one man in the room, and that man is Napoleon Bonaparte, who is going to solve all of your problems. That's why the French had to support him, because they thought that he was going to solve the problems caused by the reign of terror. In times when people are desperate, they can support any leader. So by this, they had to support Napoleon Bonaparte. So it is the French Revolt of 1789 that led to the reign of terror. Which reign of terror? Napoleon capitalized on to campaign for himself because he promised the people to solve the problems caused by the reign of terror. Constant fear and suffering. I can tell you, in the reign of terror, there was the love suspect. Me I suspected that he, you are not supporting the new government. You are supposed to be killed. This happened. That's why many people died in the reign of terror. So Napoleon promised to solve the equation. That's why he had to rise to power. Another one, it provided Napoleon with an opportunity to display his military skills. I can tell you it was as a result of the French Revolt of 1789 that Napoleon had to display 
his military skills. He was chosen by the directory government to go and liberate Italy from Austria. You remember when he was given soldiers full of problems, Napoleon managed to convince them. You are badly fed and partially equipped. I'm going to lead you to the most fertile place of the world. You'll gain honor and prestige. A man gave hope to the hopeless soldiers. They went to fight. When he reached in Italy, he was shunned by the Italians. They said, you look at this Napoleon. Napoleon convinced the Italians. He told them, you people of Italy, we have come to break the chains of oppression. Welcome us today. You are going to be happy. He was welcome. By this time, what happened in the Italian campaign? Napoleon managed to liberate Italy from Austria. This made people to believe that Napoleon has great military skills. That's why they had to support him. Since they wanted a strong leader who could solve the problems of a country called the France, and that led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. Another one, it led to civil disorder, foreign wars with the rest of Europe. I can tell you in this kind of arrangement, it led to civil disorder. There was a disorder in France. The country was not stable. This every time, you remember the September massacre, where thousands were massacred. So people were looking for a leader who was strong enough to solve the hard questions of the day. That's why they supported Napoleon Bonaparte. Because they saw Napoleon, he survived even in the Egyptian campaign. You remember, after the Italian campaign, Napoleon became so popular. He threatened the directors of the directory government. By this time, they had to send him on a dangerous mission. In a politics, it's called collateral damage. A government can send you on a dangerous mission when it wants you to die from there. Because he was becoming a threat, they sent him in the Egyptian campaign, knowing that the British were stronger than them. What happened in the Egyptian campaign? Many of Napoleon's soldiers died. But for him, as a great star, he managed to survive. As the directors of the directorial government were waiting for the great news that Napoleon is dead, they were surprised to hear that Napoleon is in the middle of the city waving to the people. By this time, the man became more popular. So we are saying he used the circumstances of the time, like civil disorder, to become very great, and that's why he had to rise to power. Another one, the French Revolt led to the birth of great ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity. Let me tell you, it was the French Revolt of 1789 that led to the rise of great ideas, liberty, equality, and fraternity. People believed that it was Napoleon Bonaparte who was going to promote these ideas. That's why he was chosen. Napoleon, for him, he was a magnetic speaker. His speeches could attract people, as a magnet can attract laser bread. He managed to convince them that there's only one man in the room, and that man is Napoleon Bonaparte. He's the man who is going to promote liberty, equality, and fraternity. That's why he had to rise to power. Another one, the French Revolt of 1789 led to the formation of the Revolutionary Army known as the National Guard which replaced the royal guards. We believe by this time, the National Guard replaced the royal guard. This was the revolutionary army agitating for freedom, liberty. So since the National Guard supported Napoleon, because he led them in the Italian campaign, they realized that Napoleon is a very great soldier, is a man of great abilities. 
He had what you call rare qualities. That's why the National Guard supported him. When the National Guard supported him, he was able to stage a coup d'etat at Brumea, and this influenced his rise to power. So we are saying the year 1799 was a great year in the history of France because it influenced the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte, a great star among all stars. Mind you, the man we are looking at today, one time he said, everything is possible. Only the word impossible was written by fools in the books of dictionary. The man never believed in impossibilities. He wrote and said, a normal man sleeps for only two hours, a woman four hours, and a fool eight hours. That is Napoleon Bonaparte. He was a man of great abilities. For him, he wrote and said, I know where my eyes is tall, but I don't know where my ambitions is tall. In other words, he was...